Wicked star Cynthia Erebo has slammed fans for photoshopping the movie's poster. The new image is an homage to the original Broadway poster with Glinda whispering into Elphaba's ear. However, the movie version is slightly different to the original, with one big change being that Elphaba's full face is visible. When I heard this, I thought it was a joke, but imagine being this conceited to think that people making a fan edit is somehow offensive to you. You know when stupidity is just so overblown that you just have to laugh. I mean, there are a lot of things that you could be offended over. This is definitely not one of them. She says, this is the wildest and most offensive thing I have seen. Really? That's the wildest and most offensive thing you've ever seen? Have you looked in the mirror lately? You don't like people making fun of you, but then you do the very thing that makes yourself a target to be made fun of even more? There are people dying in several parts of the world that are not here, and you're saying this is the most offensive thing you've ever seen. Someone making an edit over a fucking poster? I like that they're making some something different. They're going the Maleficent route and I get it. And, and when I watched the trailer a second time, I thought, damn, okay, this, this, I guess I will watch this because it, I am interested. The world looks amazing. I'd like to see what story they tell even though it looks very bombastic, but maybe I'll give it a try. And attitudes like this do absolutely nothing. Like obviously this is coming from a place of sheer insecurity and projection, because for you to look at something like this, a fan edit that people made of this, which looks objectively better than this, by the way, it just looks more mysterious. So when I see a poster like this, I'm like, okay, they're giving everything away. The the, the green lipstick, it just, it, it's from a photography point of view, you look at both of these pictures and this one looks better. This one looks more intriguing. This looks like a weird cosplay sitcom. This looks like, who is this person in green? I want to know more about this person. Is she evil? Is she not? Why is this person whispering in her ear? Isn't she supposed to be the evil one? Not her. If you are into film and theater, I mean, maybe not theater, but if you're into filming and photography, there are certain ways to frame your photos or your subject matters and ways to utilize colors so that they contrast or carry symbolism. Using the red lipstick carries is way more symbolism than the green on green. It's also way more eye-catching. The contrast of the shadows on the eyes, as I said, making this character enigmatic and letting us not know who is who. I'm really curious more so about this poster because this queen is whispering to a witch with red lipstick and we can't see the witch's eyes so we know nothing about her. It's a better interpretation. You, Miss whatever, did you work on the poster personally? If you didn't, why are you so offended? The person who made it probably is not as offended as you are. This was how the original musical poster looked. There it is. And people, and it looks better. Apparently this woman says she's deeply hurt. You need to never have a job in acting again if this is what deeply hurts you. you bitch, you're in the wrong occupation. If someone making a fan-made poster of a movie that you just happen to be starring in is deeply hurtful to you. Are we being serious right now? You are all up in your own ass. It's nauseating. She says she's deeply hurt by this fan-made poster that covers her eyes, calling the Photoshop image equal to people posting the question, is your cunny green? How is that equal to that? What in? And even if they say that shit, everyone asks that question. Thanos, Gamora, everybody who is a different color, they're gonna be like, I wonder if the carpet matches the drapes. We're human. We, we do that shit. It, I know. No. Were you born yesterday? Clearly, obviously, I mean, from what we can see, you weren't. But I welcome to the internet. If you think this is the worst thing that you can, now you've just opened up yourself to even worse. Because trust me, you were low hanging fruit in that regard and you've now made yourself lower. Nobody was talking about you. Nobody cared. You're either a mega narcissist who just wants people to talk about you. It doesn't matter if it's negative attention or not, which is negative attention is what you're getting now because you played yourself and made yourself look goofy or you're really fucking stupid. You know, didn't actors in the old days used to have PR reps like to, to school them into what to say and not to say? Don't they have agents or social media managers to make sure they don't come out here and make themselves look dumb as fuck? She then goes on to saying, none of this is funny. None of this is cute. It degrades me. It degrades us. Bitch, who is us? You're the only person out here having a problem with this. This is such a non-issue. And she said oh, over this, like she said, this is the wildest, most offensive thing I've seen 
equal to that awful AI of us fighting, equal to people posting. The question is, you're kind of green. Then she says the original poster is an illustration. Oh, so she is aware of the original poster, which makes this post even worse. Very tone deaf and redundant. I'm a real life human being. No, you're not. You're a fucking alien who chose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the view. Oh my fuck. Oh my God. The awkwardness. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, gross. Like, you are so weird. Bitch, I'm weird, and you're weirding me out. What is this? <laughs> what is this post? I can't even read this with a straight face. I, she has to be trolling. What date is it? You have to be tro- You have to be- No, 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 no. What- are you going through menopause or something? What is this? No, seriously, I'm not even trying to joke around right now or, or whatever it is people think. I'm legitimately asking what the fuck is wrong with this woman? Cause this sounds like someone who's crashing out or something. Like, I don't know what the hell. Why did they not make her delete this? This is still up there. It better not be. I swear to God. <laughs> I'll try to read this way. Oh my God, I, I'm sorry. Like, I know I'm, you can say what's on the screen. I, even reading it out loud and hearing it, I feel like I wanna slap myself. How stupid it sounds coming out of my own goddamn mouth and you had a big ass woman make this post. Are we being for real? <sighs> the original poster is an illustration. I'm a real life human being who chose to look right down the barrel of the camera to you, the viewer, because without words, we communicate with our eyes. I'm sorry, but like, the kind of person you are, I don't want you looking at me. Our poster is an homage, not an imitation. To edit my face and hide my eyes is to erase me, and that is deeply hurtful. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh my God, these people are, this is the worst. I have seen actors with their ego. You're not that special, bitch. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody cares. And now you've made yourself so distasteful in the eyes of the populace. Nobody was doing anything to you. You wanna be offended so bad that this is what you chose. There are a lot of things you should be offended over and this is what you chose. Whatever is going on with you and your self image or lack thereof, don't project it onto other people. You are an actor, you are definitely in the wrong occupation if people making a very innocent fan edit like this makes you lose whatever hair you have left. I swear to God, what if she finds out that some site made an AI or an illustration of her? Like, what if people came out and they're like, all right, all right, all right, it's an illustration. You don't like illustration or you're okay with illustrations, right? Why don't we make a very adult entertainment version of your character with her eyes covered and her completely buck ass naked, getting like pummeled by Xenomorphs from all side or something? Would that not be as offensive because it's an illustration? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh my God. There are other things out there you could be using your money and your stuff for and you're choosing to sit up here with your freaking diamonds or whatever the fuck you're wearing and be like I I'm offended because people covered the eyes on a poster let me ask you something this is how you know this broad is a dumbass Changed within me. She doesn't give a tw In your own trailer, there is a shot of you putting on the hat for the first time and it's shielding your eyes. You freaking mook. This, this could have easily been taken from the freaking trailer. And somehow you were mad because it covers your eyes. Why didn't you have an issue in the trailer with the shots that did cover your eyes? Like the whole movie seems to be people ostracizing her because she looks like a witch or she looks different or, or whatever the case is. I don't even really know. But clearly she's a social outcast or that's what they imply in the trailer. I'm surprised you actually made it this far without melting. Like you actually shot this movie, like you didn't shoot the movie, but you had the movie shot, acted in the movie as his character and you didn't just die on the spot out of how deeply offended all of the scenes made you that you starred in where your character was being hurt. That did, that's, that's, wow. I'm actually really shocked. I am shocked. Jesus. Unless she's in character when she wrote this. And if that, if she was in character when she wrote this, this makes me not wanna watch the movie to be honest. And then she, <laughs> she put, let me put this right here to remind you and cleanse your palate. No, you didn't cleanse the palate. You made it fucking dirty. Like you, now, I don't even know what to say. People like this just, 
this is a grown up. This is a middle aged looking woman. And this is what you decided when you decide when you finally found out how the internet works and how to use a computer. This is what you chose to do with it. Welcome to the internet. I hope you don't go on again after this because I hate to tell you, you have just you're gonna take the one thing and let people know this is what it takes to make you feel offended. You know, not the children that are dying out there, not the children in other countries who are suffering that you could use your money for to go help. Nope, nope. You, you didn't use your money to go invent something, to invent jobs for people or invent something that could actually help society. Nope, nope. You're using one of those things so that you can come on here with your, from your throne on high, with your money that you made starring in a make-believe thing to entertain people. And this is what you find offensive, okay? Someone take her internet away. I swear to God, like there's some people just probably should not be on their internet. And she's one of them. I'm more shocked that people have the patience to be nice about this. Someone says actually ridiculous reaction. It's a fan, chill out. Why is your art expression more important and valid than theirs? Like yikes. Someone else said, I, I think everyone needs to chill. This is a film adaptation of a musical adaptation of a book. It's not going to be what we're used to and that's okay. It's a completely new piece of art. So naturally things are gonna change. Someone said, it's an iconic picture. Of course, people are going to speak on it. Nothing to get offended over, oh brother. Another person says, she said it was the wildest, most offensive thing she has seen. When in reality, it was most likely some theater kid with a Photoshop that loves the musical. That's what I'm saying too. This is the wildest and most offensive thing you've seen. Where has she been living under a freaking rock under her head like what 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 if this is the wildest most offensive thing you've seen on the internet with everything that is going on right now with all the suffering and all the wars and all the children that are hurting being preyed on they're missing posters being taken away because adults are fighting amongst themselves because they can't come to a decision. With all the wild things that have been said on the internet and the edits of things that are, this is the, I'm, I'm having a hard time coping with the fact that this, ew, no, the, the, the fan edit is the wildest and most offensive thing she has seen. She didn't say most offensive, she didn't say wildest. She said wildest and most offensive thing in the same sentence she's ever seen. It's like she was a bot and she literally just opened her eyes and people have trained her to see this image. And then when she closes her eyes and opens it them again for the second time, the fan edit is what she sees. And they programmed her to only care about this image and to only know what this, this is your, your whole identity. And so I can't even bro. Even someone else said, exactly. It's only fan art. There's more important things going on in the world than a piece of fan art honoring the original to see what it would look like. Another said, damn, you know things are going well when the wildest and most offensive thing going on in your life is fan art. Someone, some dumbass said, I saw someone pointing that the addition is only on Cynthia, nothing on Ariana. I wonder why people don't edit her using the white dress and the white hat like in the poster. Oh yeah, people are just a little bit racist. She's not overreacting. She just wants to be seen. She's the main character. People need to see her. Bitch, she's green. No, but you can't even fully see Ariana's face. And maybe they didn't want to change it, the, the freaking dress she's wearing, because it doesn't make sense if she's not actually wearing that dress. Notice they didn't change the clothes of the character either. You can't really see Ariana's face. If I were looking at this, if someone had told me it was Ariana, I would not know. Her eyes are basically closed. She has a side profile. You can't fully see her. This is the type of person that also does not need to be on the internet. <laughs> and someone said they edited Ariana too to cover her face more with her hand the person says oh i didn't notice that yeah maybe because you're only looking at things because you want to be offended funny how you don't realize things and out here looking like a damn fool you should have deleted your post because you made yourself look fucking stupid maybe even more so stupid than she does no i don't know i think you're all on the same level right now here goes another person y'all need to go use your eyes read comprehend and then comment the ai video they made is very offensive ironic you saying that the person i, I find it rich when people on the internet are telling other people to comprehend when they thoroughly lack English comprehension. Because she starts off saying, this is the wildest, mo mo wildest most offensive thing I've seen, equal to that awful AI of us fighting. E meaning the video, AI video that was made that I didn't see. So when someone says something is equal to something, they are drawing a parallel to that thing. They are saying that the two things are the same. Two things equal to that awful AI. I am equal to nails on a chalkboard. You're 
drawing a contrast, you're drawing a, comp a, a comparison and saying that the two things are extremely similar or basically the same. That's what equal means. So you then telling people, thinking that you did a gotcha and being all like, comprehend, you made yourself look like another dumbass. I like how the internet just exposes people for their idiocracy. I swear to God, it is the best way to weed out all the dumbasses from the rest of the populace. Someone said, I agree, but I feel this one wasn't made from ill intent. Just a fan wondering how the poster would look. It was 100%. And then another person said, yes, but she said the poster was worse than the AI video. Uh, no, she said it's equal to the awful AI of us fighting, which even in and of itself is not a big deal. People are gonna make things. It's the internet. If it offends you so much, stay off of it. Go take a fucking Xanax and relax. People in the comments are just, <laughs> most people, most level-headed normal functioning human beings with a brain are like, dude, y y you're weird, bro. Except for the freaking white knights that want to rim her or something. She's completely right. No, she's not. People need to start being honest again. Why is everyone lying to people? It's like somebody was a big old tumor in the, the middle of their face and they can be a wonderful person, but people are like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Stop lying to people. Why can't people be honest? Just be honest. She's being a fucking idiot. Oh my God, her feelings are hurt, okay? Kick rocks. You have money. You have, you know how many people of, of us down here don't have money who are struggling? You're not struggling. This is what you find the wildest and most offensive thing. I find the wildest, most offensive thing that I'm paying fucking taxes and there are people that didn't have to work as hard as me that don't pay shit and they're getting more benefits off of the taxes I'm paying for. That's wildly offensive. Nobody wants to talk about that shit, but oh, dare you say something and all of a sudden you're the problem. I find it wildly offensive that when we the citizens stand up and say that the government is mistreating us, we're offensive somehow. We're not allowed to say that. No, 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 none of that's happening. That's what's offensive. What's offensive is you sitting up here as an actor, starring in some movie that you want people to see to spend their money on while you've already gotten paid and we're out here fucking struggling. There are people who could use some help. And I'm not saying you should just go and give money to people because people will waste money. People need to work for what they get. I completely agree with that. But there are other organizations out there that you can go and make a difference for. This is what is offending you. There are children out there dying of fucking cancer. Go make a child's dream come true instead of going on the internet and saying that a fan-made poster is offending you because you feel erased. There are kids out there who have one month left to live because they're cancer. They're literally going to become erased. And this is what you find offensive? Bitch, get the fuck off the internet. Hush.